A reflex occurs when nerve impulses travel over a simple neuron pathway called a reflex arc. Reflex arcs have five basic parts. Receptors, sensory neurons, interneurons, motor neurons, and effectors. We will now follow a reflex arc starting at the receptors. Receptors located in the skin or sense organs detect a stimulus and create an impulse. Sensory neurons conduct nerve impulses towards the central nervous system, the brain and spinal cord. Interneurons in the central nervous system connect sensory neurons to motor neurons. Motor neurons conduct nerve impulses from the central nervous system to an effector. Effectors respond to the impulses by contracting if the effector is a muscle fiber or secreting an enzyme or hormone if the effector is a gland. In addition to the reflex arc, you might experience pain with a stimulus. When impulses from sensory neurons travel through the spinal cord to the sensory cortex area of the cerebrum, it results in conscious sensation of touch or pain. Once you feel pain, signals are sent to the motor area of the cortex. The motor cortex sends impulses to the cerebellum, where motor activity is coordinated. Then, the impulses are sent through the spinal cord to the muscles, where they can cause muscle contraction for voluntary movements, such as hand or arm movement. Impulses from the sensory cortex also go to the prefrontal cortex of the cerebrum to be recorded as a memory that associates the sight of fire with pain. This causes you to be more careful when you are near a hot stove.